The first shots fired, thankfully, from a safe distance. Taiwanese TV showing rockets launched from the Chinese coast towards the far side of the Taiwan Strait. Beijing is beaming pictures of its navy testing missiles and conducting exercises around the island to vent its fury at Nancy Pelosi becoming the highest level US visitor to Taiwan in 25 years. Some people in China believe war is imminent. I think Pelosi's visit is a good thing. It gives us an opportunity to surround Taiwan, then to use this chance to take Taiwan by force, earlier than expected. Taiwan's forces are on high alert and patrolling their coastline as China's leader Xi Jinping orders his troops into Taiwan's territorial waters for drills for the first time. Taiwan's government says the large no-go zones drawn up for the exercises amount to an economic blockade, with ships and aircraft forced to change routes. Our government will not only actively strengthen its self-defence capabilities, but will also maintain close ties with like-minded countries like the United States. But this is a pressure campaign on multiple fronts. Having banned more than 2,000 Taiwanese food companies from exporting to China this week, Beijing has added citrus fruit and wax apples to existing bans on pineapples. It's these economic hits that could really cut deep. Taiwanese are long used to military sabre rattling from China, but banning key exports just months before local elections could really apply pressure. It will affect the farmers because they grow and produce so much fruit and now they can't sell it. A lot of industries are connected here, so the impact will be huge. Will the economic measures affect the way people vote here? I think they will. Many in Taiwan feel the likelihood of war is overblown, but the next few days will be tense, with Chinese troops closer than ever. Bill Bertels, ABC News, Taipei.